Hello Lolas! Welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. So today I'm here with Christopher Robin. And Christopher Robin is the Brady Sculpt by Jennifer Costello. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the last name. But, um... I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in the description bar because like, I can't never pronounce the last name. I'll just be like Jennifer Costello. That's what I say. Um, so anyway, he is 19.5 inches long and he was said to weigh about 6 pounds, 6 ounces, which is kind of cool because one of my real children was actually 6 pounds, 6 ounces. So one was six pounds, six ounces, one was six pounds, nine ounces, so on and so forth. But anyway, um, he just, he's very newborn to me. Um, but I came on here to uh, just check in. Plus, of course, I wanted to show him. I don't know if I've shown him in this little outfit, but I just think, oh my gosh, he looks so good in blues and creams and vibrant colors. And it's so uh so crazy so this is this is one of the things that i absolutely love about this hobby um it's forever changing and things i mean you can always expect the unexpected like um sometime you get a baby and you're like oh i like this baby you or for me as when i'm buying a baby to paint to sell i'm like oh I just really want to paint this face. I want to see this baby. I want to see this artist's work, the sculptor's work and pour in person. Like that's usually like sometime when I'll just branch out and grab something because I'm like, ooh, I, I think I want to paint this one. And then you get it and it's like, it's something that's more, more of an emotional pull than any, uh, than the other regular babies and stuff. And it's kind of like, why am I so, you know, attached to this one over that one or this one? Um, so it's like always surprising, but he just looks so cute in like little clothes like this, like with his feet in and like little pants and sleepers. And, um, I can't wait to see him with hair, but I also wanted to tell you guys, I am really 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 um excited about some of these new kits that are coming out these vinyl kits that are coming out um so i can't wait to get lottie in my hand but there's another one um everybody was posting it and posting it i'm really excited about uh the nikki johnston kit what is the name of that 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 boy but it's a big one and then there is there's another one. Oh, I can't think right now but I'm excited about the vinyl sculpts but the thing is this year is going to be very interesting to me because I don't think that I'll be painting beyond the orders that I already have and stuff so I'm going to have to be finding people to paint or or see them already painted. Now, some sculpts, like if it's a very limited edition and it's going to be sold out, I'm going to definitely snag one to make sure I have one because I don't want to miss out, right? If it's a true limited edition. I saw somewhere, I was reading one post and the kit was like, it's a limited edition to XYZ amount, but... A second edition is coming no limited edition a limited edition of an amount doesn't follow up with a second edition like a limited edition is a limited edition a if it was a series of babies maybe I don't know I'm kind of confused on that like in my mind if something is limited when you say it's limited to 500 it's limited to 500 and that's it like, I have no problem with people doing open editions or um, second editions 
or you know second rounds or whatever but don't say this is going to be a small limited edition it's not if you're going to open it back up so yeah and i don't have a problem with I, here's the thing i'm not problematic when it comes to the sculpts that i buy and find i don't have a problem with people using reusing limbs um, because I've talked to enough people in the industry to know that it's very costly for them to get them produced with new limbs. And so it's cheaper for the molding purposes in vinyl, blah, 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 blah. Now, granted, it does get old if you just keep recycling the same limbs year after year after year after year. It gets old. Um, it also brings down the value. People are not as out to buy it so artists aren't as excited to paint it because their sales are not going to be as prominent as it would if it was you know something fresh something new but I don't fault the sculptors for making the money the way that they can make the money and you know save a buck okay because I know it's got to be very expensive for them to you know get a vinyl edition going but um I just like limited editions when it's really truly good. And that's why, like, for me, you know, I love what um, Cassie Brace is doing as far as the smaller editions and, you know, giving these extra perks in her vinyl kits. I think that's amazing because most collectors, we love things that we can collect. We love little collectible items and little unique things with our babies and stuff like that. So I really, really love that. Um... I love that she's taking a different approach than, oh, let's just flood the market or let's just do a open edition of this, that, and the third because we're going to prevent people from scamming us. I like the going with the smaller number. It kind of makes it feel back like old times when, you know, we would race to do the limited editions. It's really fun, actually. Even when you miss out, it's like, ah, oh, man. You know, oh, I know which one it is that I'm looking forward to. It's the new, um, the little Blake baby. I, I actually, I was a little bummed out when I found out. I thought first that it was Betty Blake legs, but I realized it wasn't. It was the other one with the little, um, funny knee. But most toddlers, you're going to have dressed up, you know, put them on some pants, put them on some tights. I, I'm I'm excited about the sculpt and I I love Natalie Blick kits because they're so far have been truly limited and she's usually like nine 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 <laughs> that's usually her thing and so I really really you know I really love that so I'm excited about it I'm just gonna have to you know hope that I can find people that I enjoy painting I have artists that I love work um, you know, of course, the price points may be a little up there, so I'm going to have to, like, you know, pace myself, but I'm excited. Um, and then if I have to, I will go back to, you know, doing, you know, making temporary spaces like I did before. I was painting in my nursery and just, you know, um, you know, paint a reborn like that, but... I am, I have a toddler that I'm working on and I have another baby that I have, have that I'm working on because I have to have it done by the rooting appointments. Um, both of them have re rooting appointments, so I have to have them done by then. And then I have the giveaway baby that I've just been like working in between my orders, which is not going real fast, because, to be honest. Um, and I feel kind of bad about that, but at the end of the day, I have to survive, and this is how I pay my bills. So I have to, you know, the giveaway baby have to be, you know, on my leisure. And so there's that. But, um, and I, I, I know that my Lola knows that I'm going to keep my word. At the end of the day, she will end up with a free baby from me. Um... What else? Um, oh my gosh, I can't even think straight now. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so yeah, so I got 
a few more vinyls and I, I do have to finish Lottie um, a Lottie um, for hopefully um, if they like it that will be one for someone else and that's it so um, if that kit doesn't come out like if it's not back by the time I finish my other orders that I'm finishing up now um, I'll just have to paint it in my temporary space because I'm gonna do away with my my reborn station I've already started like already got my paints and stuff where they are like kind of packaged so when it's gonna be an easy pack up and it'll be easy also for me to transport where I need to go for that but um, yeah I'm gonna concentrate my efforts on silicone because I can root my own silicone and I don't have to wait on you know a rooter or try to find a rooter or pay a rooter um, I can keep everything in house myself so that's where I'm at with that um, this little guy here is definitely um, it is so hard for me guys I don't know what I'm going to do with this baby I I want to sell him I I do but I want to sell him because that's what I was supposed to do to begin with right but I just I know y'all sick of me saying it but I just don't I I don't know I just don't know um you know I love I I this baby I love I love his face I love this hand this hand I love this hand this hand eh, it's okay I just it's not my favorite but this hand I love this hand I love his face I just love him I love the way he feels he and I love the way he looks in his little clothes it's just I don't know and he's so soft oh my gosh it's just I don't know how to explain it but yeah so it's gonna be interesting to see what he looks like with hair i don't even i haven't even completely decided what type of hairstyle to do with him just yet um but i did order some hair for him specifically um i'm thinking of a lighter color hair but it just depends on how i feel about it up against his skin when i get it um his complexion is so different from any baby I've ever painted and so I just I don't know I get so caught up in that but I know for sure I well I don't really know for sure but I think I'm almost certain I'm gonna root Greta and I'm gonna place Greta up for sale um that's gonna be an interesting sale hopefully because I may do something a little different with that one but I'm going to root him and once he's rooted um I got one more head that I'm that I'm obligated to root before I can just root anybody I want to root so I'm going to root that one first and then I'm going to root either uh Christopher Robin or Logan but I think I'm going I'm kind of leaning towards going ahead and rooting Logan so I can go ahead and get him sold and we're um And then go from there. Because I'm, I don't know. It's like any meeny miny mo catch a tiger by his toe. I don't know which one should go. I don't just don't know no mo. Oh, hey. That was a beat right now. Ow. Okay, let me go eat my breakfast. Um, Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me and my channel. I truly, truly feel blessed to have been doing YouTube for, what, since 2000. 12 2013 um again you know give your girl a like make sure you share in your groups and your dolly groups on facebook on instagram help celebrate your girl tell everybody to follow my channel i am still here 10 toes down and that's what they say <laughs> 10 toes down and um i plan on continuing okay Okay, we'll see you later. Oh.
wait this video might come out after sunday so never mind i'll probably be done doing the giveaway so anyway if not sunday i'll be doing the giveaway you want to be there okay it's gonna be easy fun quick boom i might actually can do it i might actually can do that with my grandbaby here because it ain't gonna be take that much okay we'll see